hi welcome to the biology aspirants okay today we are going to see about the starch test starch test see in the last class we studied about the photosynthesis introduction and equation definition in the photosynthesis we studied there from the inorganic components like carbon dioxide water sunlight and chlorophyll the starch is formed the starch it is a one of the organic material or organic complex organic compound okay this starch how this starch can be tested so how to know that starch is present in the plants or how to know that starch is formed in the plants so for example if you want to know about the starch is present in the plant generally the food material comes from the plants like rice grains pulses etc suppose if you take some rice in a bowl see take some rice in a bowl then okay then if you pour some iodine solution see some iodine solution directly if you pour some iodine solution onto the rice then this white color generally rice is white in color but when we pour the iodine solution onto the rice then what happens this white color rice can be converted into either blue or black in color so this shows about there is presence of starch or plants have prepared the carbohydrates or starch so generally starch is a one of the polysaccharide so that uh, when starch is present in the rice then automatically if you pour the iodine solution then the food can be converted into or the food can be changed the white color food can be changed into blue or black in color this shows about uh, uh, easily we, with this we can find out there is presence of starch but in plants how can we find out the starch which is present in the plants so here there is an activity so we shall go through the activity uh, how can we find out the starch for this first we need to take a beaker okay this beaker should be kept on tripod stand okay this beaker should be kept on the tripod stand see the beaker is kept on the tripod stand then on above the tripod stand here the iron net or asbestos gauge one asbestos gauge is kept see here this asbestos gauge or iron net so this is tripod stand first we have taken the tripod stand see this tripod stand above there is asbestos gauge asbestos gauge okay next this above the asbestos gauge here we kept one beaker in beaker see here we have taken some water okay suppose 1 by 3rd percentage of water is to be taken into the beaker then first this is the major uh, this is the material we should be taken a tripod stand above there is tripod stand on uh, there is asbestos gauge and then tripod stand asbestos gauge above there is one beaker with one by third percentage of water now select a healthy leaf from the potted plant okay we can take out from healthy leaf one from the potted plant select a healthy leaf from the potted plant then this healthy leaf should be taken into the beaker of water and this be, uh, healthy leaf is taken into the beaker of water it should be kept in the beaker of water and it should be heated with the help of bunsen burner some time for some time first uh, the leaf should be boiled or heated for some time with the help of the burns and burner then after some time the leaf, this leaf should be transferred after some time this leaf should be transferred into the test tube or boiling tube which consists of methylated spirit see here now here we have taken the test tube okay this test tube which consists of water methylated spirit or alcohol it is equal to the alcohol methylated spirit 
or alcohol see why we are taking the methylated spirit in the test tube and test tube is keeping in the beaker of water directly if we can boil uh, this uh, test tube on the where bunsen burner what happens the methylated spirit is highly inflammable suppose if you burn the methylated spirit directly on the bunsen burner here methylated spirit fumes can be come out through the test tube if the fumes are catch in the fire then the whole process can be burned that's why we are taking this much of carefulness uh, while doing this activity that's why here the test tube is taken test tube inside here methylated spirit then methylated spirit test tube is kept in the beaker of water now first we have boiled the leaf now that leaf it is introduced into the methylated spirit okay now that leaf is introduced into the methylated spirit then again for some more time we should boil the leaf when we boil this leaf here after some time we can observe the green color leaf is turned into see here this green color generally leaf is green in color okay so this green color leaf turned into pale white in color see pale white so whenever the leaf turn into pale white in color what happens carefully this leaf should be taken out with the help of the brush and spread it on the petri dish see spread it on the petri dish okay spread it on the petri dish okay then carefully take out the leaf from the methylated spirit and spread it on the petri dish and pour some iodine solution on the leaf when we pour the iodine solution on pale white color leaf what happens here the pale white color leaf is changed into blue or blue or black in color so this shows about there is presence of starch in the leaves so here while we while the leaf is heating in the presence of spirit here the spirit can destroy the chlorophyll so here one thing we should remember why the leaf is kept in the methylated spirit why it has to be boiled for some time with the help of the bunsen burner so that to remove the chlorophyll from the leaf here the leaf is kept in the methylated spirit and it is boiled when it is boiled for some time with the help of the method what uh, bunsen burner what happens the green color leaf is turn into pale white in color that shows about the chlorophyll has been destroyed when the chlorophyll has been destroyed here the green color leaf is turned into pale white in color so that whenever the leaf turn into pale white in color it should be taken out with the help of the brush and spread it on the petri dish and pour some iodine solution or otherwise betadine sometimes you will ask iodine synonym betadine so even if you pour the betadine or iodine the both are same huh? so if you pour the iodine solution it will turn into blue or black in color this indicates about there is presence of starch so with the with this experiment we can find out there is presence of uh, starch so this is the test for the uh, knowing about the presence of starch so suppose in examination what questions ask like this what is the reagent is used to test the presence of starch iodine or sometimes if the in options if there is no iodine we, we shall also find out the better in or otherwise why methylated spirit is used in the experiment uh, to know the test of starch methylated spirit uh, this can destroy the chlorophyll when it is boiled so that methylated spirit or alcohol when it is uh, used in the test tube while it is some time boiling so this methylated spirit can destroy it or this ethyl alcohol or methylated spirit can destroy the chlorophyll so that when the chlorophyll is destroyed then here the green color leaf will be turned into pale white in color so that here the pale white in color leaf should be taken out from the test tube and spread it on the petri dish pour some iodine solution so that it will change into blue or black in color this is the test for the presence of starch